morning guys welcome to another day of vlogmas i'm your study buddy senna and it's a study corner christmas enjoy <laughs> have done by the end of this Christmas break so I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the total number of days I have minus weekends because I want to use weekends just to, like to solve questions and to rest so I have 10 days of this break and in this 10 days I need to finish these here so I've mapped things out in weeks so this is the current week that we're in the week of the 11th and it's about to finish off by Sunday. I have currently finished off this part at the beginning here, the ANS part. Actually, I forgot CNS and weeks 8 to 12. Thankfully, I have notes for all of these. And normally, when I'm studying for even things like tutorials during turn time, I'm able to get through like the notes for each week maybe in like 30 minutes so it is possible for me to be able to finish this by the end of the week so then next week i'm going to be doing my flashcards for the subjects that are towards the end so that um i can have study resources for that time so i borrowed flashcards from one of my seniors but she didn't have some of them like um, the ones that I noticed were missing, I'm going to have to fill them in for that particular subject. Um, but I won't be doing all the flashcards because I know the ones that she has and the one that she hasn't. Like, I've specifically listed out the different species that I'm going to have to do by myself. And so, one by one, they're all there. And then, here, I also have, like, after Christmas... Um, after Christmas Day, what I'm going to be doing is focusing more on pathology and then um, making some more resources for one of the um, subjects that are more towards the end. Just because I don't want to completely forget about that subject and like have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm still a bit skeptical on this one. If I feel like I am managing well during this week and I'm almost done with this then I can move this one up but I don't want to overload myself because this week is looking quite packed so I'm going to leave that here because I'm only finishing one unit of the pathology that week um, because I know it's towards the end of the year there might be like other things I don't know celebration wise my birthday is also coming up so i wanted to like make a realistic plan where i'm studying and i'm also like considering things that are um honestly happening in my life but after the break i only want to solve questions and that's the week of the first but depending on how well these go then i'm going to like um, structure my time so i noticed that i have um mind map for for example week two for microbiology so i'm not going to be making flashcards for that week because i already have a mind map so i'm going to learn from the mind map instead of flashcards for just for that week and in the mind map what i didn't include from that week i i checked let me check now again just to make sure but i believe i have flashcards for that already so that means that i can take out week two and like not end up doing it all over again i'll just use the mind map and the flashcards that i have in order to speed things up because i have no time 
so yeah i just confirmed that i do in fact have flashcards for that part that's missing so i'm just gonna use them the flashcards plus the mind map for that week and that will be it so i can take it out of my list and that makes the task smaller so that i can see like okay i said week two but what exactly week two am i doing how many tasks do i have so yeah that's how i determine the tasks by breaking down the big um, chunks into smaller chunks so okay week two this bacteria this bacteria and that bacteria were covered these three topics were covered so it means if i say i'm doing week two i need to have covered all these three this is basically a breakdown of all the things that i have to do i did a week by week um as i said the various things needed to be done in each week minus this current week that we're in um yes so i ended up having to add weekends because when i counted the number of tasks it was 52 tasks and 52 tasks in 10 days is just not realistic so i made it instead plus weekends so that means that i'll have to do four tasks per day starting this sunday i'm hoping to be able to completely kill off this by this week it's looking good so um hopefully I only have this <laughs> left um, realistically like for the end of the break if I see um, that I'm not able to get through like all of the brain I might split it in half because brain is later on um, I just wanted to be able to make these resources ahead of time so that like during the weeks leading up to that exam i will be looking at them but if i see that it's getting too much i'll just slash it in half so i can have enough time for pathology which is sooner which is the first exam and then pharma which is also sooner so yeah basically you take each week and you separate it by the topic um, and then you count up the number of tasks that you have to do yeah that's basically what I did and then you divide it by your number of days yeah. and it's best to to do this ahead of the week in which you're about to start revision but if you're already in your revision week like me and you've already started something but you wanted it to be more structured then you can do this for the coming weeks um, I have approximately three weeks to my exams so I think this was a good thing to do so that like for the coming two weeks this is for the coming two weeks, 14 days. I have this. So depending on how well this goes, I still have like a week in order to like get my act together for two of my four courses. So yeah, I feel like, yeah, if this works after the break, I will only be solving questions, which is the ideal situation of course making this plan does not mean that it's going to like completely go as i want i have to be doing four tasks per day so that means that i have to like um i have to now make sure that i'm taking four tasks every day as i'm going so um, basically i would start and i'll write sunday i'll write sunday on top here Sunday and then on Sunday I should be able to take the first week one of of microbiology and viral which is two tasks and then I should be able to take the week two which is one task and then do half of week three because week three is two tasks so it's two tasks one and one to make four tasks for that day and if I do those four tasks for Sunday then I'm done with studying it makes it like more manageable because if now I want to do more in order to make sure that coming me isn't like to make sure that future me has less to do I can but if that day I'm tired and I'm not having that energy to do that I've done my four tasks and I go to bed do you see so it kind of helps you to manage your energy and you know just get your life together um this is basically how i grade save i'm gonna test drive it in the coming days so the effectiveness of this method is going to be shown so 
you're gonna see like real time does this work and hopefully that will inform you in planning your revision for coming upcoming exams okay so without further ado i'm going to start on something i'll watch a video on one of the drug groups and then i'm gonna dash to the main campus to get some food i don't usually do that but i just like today i, I just feel like i should start because <laughs> i already left out like the things for pharma that i had to do this week so i should start today that means Mm, I'm not gonna have enough time to cook because I ate all my food that I have yesterday. So I'm gonna get something today, keep some of it for this evening, and then tomorrow I'm gonna cook. So that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. God help us. God help me. God help all of us. Amen. I should actually head out now if I want to get that food because it runs out really quickly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to leave now if I want to get it, so I'm leaving now. So I'm gonna go to the block to wait for 12 p.m. style i have takeaway and i'm going home now so guys i'm back home and i have eaten well i think i've eaten well i'm going to need to make some rice later on to have with the chicken and the salad that's my leftover for this evening and like i said tomorrow is when i'll really have the time to cook something but then yeah um <clears throat> I'm tempted to watch Netflix again. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm gonna watch half of my series. Half. Half of it. Just to reward myself for actually getting my act together. And then I watch the other half this evening after I've done my pharmacology revision. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> 